Good morning guys, welcome to another episode. In this episode, we will see the difference between Kawasaki Volcanus and Honda Shadow Phantom. Both of these bikes are highly refined and highly reliable. Here Phantom can be considered as a typical cruising bike. On the other hand, Volcanus can be considered as an all-rounder that has more power and more top speed. In this video, we will see the pros and cons of these two bikes and also do a specific comparison between these two. Before that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and watch till the end. So let's start. Let's start with engine capacity. Here you can see there is a 96cc difference between these two. So in terms of engine capacity, definitely Honda Shadow Phantom dominates. Though there is a difference in engine capacity, that's not reflecting the power. In terms of power, Volcanus got 12 bhp more power as compared to Honda Shadow Phantom. We have seen the power difference. This is really affecting the top speed also. Here you can see Volcanus can reach a maximum top speed of around 110 mph. On the other hand, Fanta can reach a maximum of around 100 mph only. Next we can see torque and torque delivery. Torque is almost equal on both sides, but maximum torque delivery in Fanta is much earlier as compared to Kawasaki Volcanus. That means in the beginning of the race, definitely Honda Shadow Fanta going to win the race. Next we can see compression ratio. Here you can see Fanta is getting lower compression with respect to Volcanus. Higher compression Volcanus really help it to get more top speed and more power. Next we can step fuel economy. Here you can see Volcanus is getting lower engine capacity but in terms of fuel economy both are coming on the same range of 55 miles per gallon. That means fuel range will be almost same since the fuel tank capacity are equal on both sides. Let's consider braking system. Here you can see both of these bikes comes with a single disc front brake of 300 to 96 mm diameter. But when we consider rear brake you can see Volcanus is getting a disc brake on the other hand, Phantom is getting a drum brake. Another major difference comes in terms of price. You can see Volcanus is getting more power, more top speed, almost same fuel economy. But in terms of price, Volcanus is getting at least $800 less as compared to Phantom. Yes, we need to consider that Phantom is shaft driven and got more engine capacity. Next major difference comes in terms of number of gears. You can see Volcanus is getting 6 gears. On the other hand, Phantom is getting 5 gears only. Both of these bikes comes with a 2 cylinder engine. Both are fuel injected, both are liquid cooled. Here you need to consider that seat height of Phantom is lower as compared to Volcanus. When we consider curve weight and wheelbase, you can see Phantom is getting more curve weight and more wheelbase that is specially designed for long time cruising and giving more comfort. In short, if you want a 700cc typical cruising bike that can give more comfort, go with Phantom. If you want an all-rounder that can give more power, more top speed and almost same fuel economy, stick with Vulcanus. So guys that's all in this video, in this video we have compared Honda Shadow Phantom and Kawasaki Vulcan S. If you like this video press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Write your opinion suggestions in the comment section. Thank you.